The Garment Creator software included with your Epson SureColor F2000 gives you the ability to print a high quality t-shirt quickly and easily. Garment Creator is available for both Windows and Mac OS X, and it operates the same under either operating system. First, we'll open a file. Go to File, Import, and click Image. Garment Creator supports raster file formats such as bitmap, JPEG, PNG, and layered TIFF with transparency. Navigate to your file, select it, and click Open. If you need to resize or move your image, you can use the tools under the Layout Settings tab. Here you can center your image, choose your platen type, change your horizontal or vertical orientation, enlarge or reduce your image, automatically fit it to platen, and rotate or flip your image. You can also do some limited color substitution or knockout under the color replacement tab. To knock out to shirt color, click the transparency button. Choose whichever color in the image you'd like to replace, and it will knock it out to transparent. If you uncheck the only neighboring area checkbox, it will allow you to remove a single color throughout the entire image. The white and spot color functions operate similarly, and the spot color function allows you to enter in colored data via hexadecimal or red, green, and blue values. There's also a color tolerance slider that will allow you to adjust for gradients or fill areas. If you want to remove any of these selections, click on it and hit the minus or delete buttons. Now we're going to check our print settings. Click the garment settings tab. In the upper right we have the default presets for printing. The first one is for a white t-shirt and only uses color ink. The next one is for a dark or black t-shirt and uses both white and color ink. The next one is for a dark or black shirt and only uses white ink. The last one is the setting used for the color edition printer and it only works with the color edition printer. The top three only work for the white edition printer. Since we're going to print a black t-shirt with color and white ink, we'll select dark color t-shirt standard. The first item is the current ink type, in this case white in color. Since it's already selected with white in color, we're not going to change anything here. The next setting is color print quality. Click on it and you'll see that there's a slider that ranges from speed to quality, level 1, 2, and 3. We found that the best combination of speed and quality is level 1. The next selection is white print quality. Click on it and you'll see that there's another slider with settings 1, 2, and 3. We found that the best combination of speed and quality with a good single pass white is level 2. Quality, or level 3, will do a double hit of white in two passes. Since we're going to make sure that we have a good pre-treat, we're going to go ahead and use level 2. Under the advanced settings, there's bi-directional print direction settings and media profile settings. We don't really need to change those, so we're going to move on to ink density. The first selection will allow you to print a chart of color ink density. The next setting is color ink density. For color, I like to increase this anywhere from 0 to 25%. This will vary from image to image and on what you prefer. On a black shirt, I wouldn't increase this much above 30%. For white, this should be put at 50%. This, in combination with level 2 setting on a shirt with good pretreatment coverage, should provide a solid single pass white. Under white management, there's not much we need to change. Treatment of white pixels should be set for white design, so white is printed where white pixels are in the design. Reduced white area chokes the white underbase. The measurement here is in pixels, and we recommend a setting from 4 to 6. Under white on turns the white underbase on or off. Lastly, you can adjust color toning, brightness, and saturation using the sliders in the color setting sections. These are arbitrary adjustments and should be used sparingly. Now we're ready to print. Click the print button, load a t-shirt on the printer, and after the job has finished processing, push the blue button on the front of the printer after the light lights up to run the job. We're going to be updating software, firmware, and videos continuously 
so be sure to visit www.epson.com forward slash support forward slash F2000 for the latest information and software.